What's everybody? From us here with another episode of Magic Duels. <clears throat> Eldritch Horror. Second time this week, bitch. Oh, what are we gonna get? Who are we gonna get? Mm, I hope we get a big, strong bear, man. I want the kind of bear that you know that would rip Leonardo DiCaprio in half. I want the kind of bear. <laughs> Leonardo DiCaprio bear. I want a big fat mother bear who will chew his legs off. That's that's what I want. Drop bag, D bag, D drop. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. Alrighty. Ugh, wow, what a late game deck. Turn two, turn three, turn six. <laughs> You think I'll get a turn uh, four and five play eventually? I'm sure I will, right? Right? You think so? You'd be wrong. <laughs> You'd be wrong. Oh, well. Let's give it a shot anyway. I know, it's a bad keep. It is a bad keep. If you see a hand like this, don't keep it. But I'm going to keep it because... Eh, actually, wait. I get free mulligans in this game. Holy shit, I totally should have mulliganed that. Wow, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm just a goddamn idiot. Well, guess what I do get, though? Uh, this is... Unless I control, and I do, so kapow. There you go. There you go, honey bunny. Next turn, Nettle Drone. Next turn, I sit on my ass. Sit on my ass. So many people are playing blue. I think the last six decks were all blue decks. Guys, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm playing blue. Holy fuck. I can't talk. I can't talk. I'm a hypocrite. Guys, I'm a hypocrite. <laughs> Who cares? I don't care. Everybody's a hypocrite. It's hypocritical to say that you're being hypocritical. Because everybody's hypocritical. What is this? Renown? What? Where's that exalted? I forgot what that was. I was right the first time. Renown. <laughs> exalted Renown. Hey! I gotta play! <laughs> I'm obviously not blocking that. Do I trade with my Nettle Drone? I think not. I'm not sure what kind of deck he's playing right now. I don't think I trade, though. Let's see what he got there. That's just a land. That is just a land. That does not tell me what kind of deck he's playing at all. I do know he's blue-white. So, I mean, that narrows it down quite a bit. But I don't know what kind of plays he's going to have in store for me. Hmm. Well, I like that he's thinking. By the way, bro, what is your name? I, I'm so sorry. Oh, right. No, I totally did you. What is the 59? What do you think that is? Do you think that's like he's not good at a particular sexual orientation? Or not orientation. <laughs> it's sexual act. <laughs> or he maybe he isn't good at... But then, D Drogba? D Drogba. D D Rog. Drog. Dick Drog. I don't know. I, I can't. I can't decipher that. It's so complicated for me. Wow, he's still thinking. Wait, did he just pick up a land? Wait, what am I. What, 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 what's happening? What? Who? Where? What? What's going on? What is going on? Are you playing? Are we playing or what? Nah, there he goes. He's going to attack step. If he attacks, I don't know if I'll block. I probably will not block. I'll probably let that through. Uh, will I? I don't know. It has vigilance. The vigilance is what really fucks me up. Fuck it, I will. Alright. Ah, you son of a bitch. You tricky little cunt. Tricky little trickster. You tricked me. Ah, I got tricked, you guys. Guys, he tricked me good. He tricked me so hard. And that's a really good trick, too, because I'm fucked. Now I'm just fucked. Ugh, I hate being tricked. <laughs> I don't really care. I mean, I do care. It sucks. It was totally a one-for-one, one, and he still has a creature in the forward wall. I do not. All right, Nettle Drone number two. Maybe I shouldn't have played that. Should I not have? Should he just had a, a fucking 3-3? Three, 3-3 three, three, three Vigilance that I'll never be able to charge into because then I'll have 2 damage a turn. 
<laughs> it's so complicated. Well, good news is, if I get a land in two turns, I will at least have Oblivion Sower online, which is probably taking the place above Drowner of Hope right now. He, uh, Drowner of Hope would make it uh, if he has like a bunch of scary things that I want to tap down. But Oblivion Sower is just like an all-around house who steals a bunch of lands, and that's totally fine with me. That's kind of what I prefer at this at this time, at this current moment in the short existence of my life. Oh my god, everybody's gonna play this fucking card. Oh my god. The last fucking guy who played this card, I stomped into the curb. I mean, it doesn't really hurt me that much because I had no other plays this turn. <laughs> and actually, this even turns on my Nettle Drone. Uh, okay. All the removal. Except that one's a little better. For me. <laughs> a lot better for me. Holy crap. Okay. Yeah, you got your renown. Go ahead. Um, I am okay with this so far. I am actually, yeah, I really am okay with this, actually. Uh, clue tokens are pretty cool for me. I If I don't get anything here and I didn't, perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. Like, this is fine. Because I'm going to play Mist Intruder no matter what. Now I have a Benthic Infiltrator as well, except next turn it's going to be Oblivion Sower, so... Bada bing, bada boom. Hey guys, what do you think the odds are that he's playing Reprisal? Uh, I'll give you a hint. It starts with a 1, and it's a 100. 100%. He is playing Reprisal. So, whatever. So I might as well get the most use out of Oblivion Sower. Hopefully that eats the Reprisal, and then Drowner of Hope next turn. And then Benthic Infiltrator. In the meantime, I'm just gonna keep peeping at all those little cards that I'm getting rid of, which are useless. They're all lands. Holy crap. Useless, useless, useless. Oh boy, my favorite. My favorite! That is not the card I thought it was. What is this? What What is this? Uh, at the beginning of your upkeep, you may discard all the cards in your hand. If you do, draw it again. That's a really good card. Holy crap. Uh, skip blocks. I'll just take five. I'll go to 13. I'm okay. It okay. Thanks, Mom. Oh my god. Damage effects. And you're taking forever with them. You're an annoying human being, sir. Sir. Uh-oh. Double Drowner of Hope. Now that might change things. Uh, it doesn't. I still want this. And I'm gonna do it pre-combat because I don't think I'm attacking anyway. Uh, yeah, I would like to take all of his fucking lands. That sounds fantastic. Thank you. Uh, actually, am I attacking? I mean, it's not like I'm gonna block anything. Screw it. Yeah, alright. Alright, I shouldn't have done a pre-combat. Never mind. I was thinking not, but I'll do it. I'll do it. Who cares? What are you gonna do? You gonna you gonna sue me? You gonna, you gonna get the IRS on me for not paying taxes? I don't make money. Why would I pay taxes? That makes no sense. Alright. There we go. There we go. I got a good card this time. Check it out. Look at this. A land. Mmm. Damn, that's just what I wanted to see. What are what are these cards? What are these cards? Reprisal. Boom. Did I call it or what? Did I call that? Of course I did. Of course. Of course he's playing Reprisal. And he's also playing the slowest, most obnoxious deck with no win conditions in the world. <sighs> it's just all it's just all removal. Oh my god, why do people play things like this? It just slows things down. You're so preoccupied whether, wondering whether or not you can that you never thought about whether or not you should! Oh, okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. I, fine. I'll do that again later. <laughs> I love lands, bro. That's like... Okay. Sure, I can't play that next turn. That's fine, though. I mean, whatever. He is hitting me for kind of much... Uh, kind of a lot, though, right now. Which is a bad... Which is a bad news. Which is a bad news bear for me. What is that? Six, seven, eight? Eight damage? Oof, that's more than half. That's a lot. That's a lot of damage, Timmy. Hopefully... Do I have 12 lands yet? <laughs> I don't think I have 12 lands, guys. I don't think I have 12 lands, but... I think I might have nine. I might have nine. I, I'm not counting them. I know you can just... Like, you probably already know how many I have. Ah, fine, I'll count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
four, eight, nine. Yep, I do have nine. So, Drowner of Hope. Kerplunk. What are you going to do? You do not have counters. No freaking way you have counters. Are you serious? That kind of a deck? It would, wouldn't it? It would. You bastard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, boom! All the creatures. And by the way, Benthic Infiltrator. Rub a dub dub. Thanks for the cards. <laughs> oh, damn it. I forgot to do this uh, pre combat. Horribly awry that. Oh, that's why he didn't do the first one. Okay, okay. Um. I will not attack, actually. I am at five, uh, so I'd rather, like, block a whole bunch of garbage. He does run counter spells. I can't believe he's he's running counter spells. That's very upsetting. What is horribly right? It's only creature spells, isn't it? Creature spell. Why would you run a creature target when you have like bounce spells, reprisal, a bunch of other things? Wouldn't you rather spell cards? Like you have a ton of creatures and you have a ton of other removal, so you don't need like creature only removal. Whatever. Fine. Fine, you have it, you run it, I don't care, fine, whatever, do it, good, good for you, good for you, you got, you did it. Um, Oblivion Sower can come down again, and I think it will, I think it's gonna come down next turn. I'm also playing with the idea of Drowner of Hope, Drowner of Hope number two would be just fucking hilarious, but actually I think Oblivion Sower would be a better play. Reflector Mage, uh... Can I play the other Drowner of Hope? I don't think I can, I think they both get bumped, huh? I think I can't play either of them. That's such garbage. Can't cast spells with the same name. Yeah, that's right. Alright, well, obviously I have to block here, which super sucks. Yeah, I literally have to block everything I can. Double Reflector Mage fucks me so hard, man. So fucking hard. Mmm. That really fucking sucks, man. That's so upsetting. Seriously, I'm very upset right now. Uh, not as upset as that this guy watches damage effects for way too long. That actually is the most upsetting part of this. Well, I still have my Oblivion Sower. <laughs> I got him. He's waiting in the car. All right. I only get one land. Uh, that's great. Uh, at least I get Vile Aggregate, and then I just lose next turn. So... Congratulations, you win. Good job. Ugh, so annoying. So annoying. Very upsetting. I'm mad now. I am now mad. I want to hit small children like my neighbor upstairs. Uh, that is <laughs> slander. My my neighbor upstairs, uh, I have no idea. No evidence whatsoever whether or not he hits babies. Do not, do not put my word to it. Golden Monk. You're awesome. Golden Monk. He's the goldenest monk there is. This is a pretty cool hand. I'm, in, I'm into this. I wish I had some more ingest, but I mean, Vile Aggregate does ingest, so turn this guy on. Maybe this is okay. He only mulliganed once. So he has the same number because he gets a free mulligan, just like me, which is totally unfair. He should get bad mulligans where his next hand has to have like two less cards and I get to have an extra card because fuck you. All right, nice, good. Okay, Vile Aggregate will be online next turn followed by Eldrazi Sky Spawner. Unless he deals with the Vile Aggregate, then I'll put Vile Aggregate number two because I really need that ingest coming online. Wow, who plays that? Wow, okay. Two, two Defender, <laughs> sometimes loses Defender. Wow, triple vile aggregate. That makes me very happy. My pants are quivering in anticipation right now. Transform him into a 4-2 flyer. All right. I'm really surprised. I wonder if he has that uh, equipment when the creature transforms, it also transforms and does that stuff that it does. Hmm, tap lands, not my favorite at all. Hey bro, how come you didn't attack? Um, this is awesome, because he can't really stop this. I mean, unless he has tricks for me. But, uh, I will get that ingest online. 
and that means processor assault will be pretty damn useful. Uh, twin bolt, super sucks. There they both go, kabow. <laughs> There's your trick. There's your trick. Boy, twin bolt just turns that card off, doesn't it? <laughs> twin bolt turns off a lot of things, man. Actually, uh, now that I'm saying it, twin bolt is amazing. Probably one of my favorite uh, cards. I don't know why it's not in my deck right now. Another tapped land. Wow, all three of them in a row, man. These suck. God, these are bad. <laughs> why do you run them? You should run the other ones and then Evolving Wilds rather than that. Are you serious? Are you serious? Alright, fine. I have another one. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I got more. I got more. Uh, I'm not going to put down Nettle Drone. Uh, I want the aggregates. I want them because they're amazing blockers and eventually they will get in there for the ingest to turn on processor assault. <sighs> I can't wait to be able to do this. Five damage, sorcery speed for two. Sounds like shit, actually. But whatever. <laughs> uh, grip of the Royal. You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. Why? Why are people running this? All four of them. All four of those Badlands. All four. Every single one. No reason not to attack right now, so he will be attacking. Oh, man. This is the very definition of a Dirtle deck, guys. This is absolutely it. I'm going to tap your shit down, and I'm going to slow this game down to a stinking crawl. To a stinking crawl. Okay. And you're tapped out. So you either double block and lose one, or you single block and get ingested to turn on my processor assault. Either way is fine with me. Or you don't block at all and you just take the whole damage. That's also good. That I am also quite fine with. He has all four of that not quite a guild gate. All four of them. Anchor to Aether. Very nice. Good job. You did it. Top of the deck. Top of the deck. All oh, them control cards are so good. Mmm, look at that. You slowing me down. And you're gonna kill me with this 2-3 someday. It's so good. Such a good strategy. Mm. So smart. Gee, I wonder what I want to play today. Oh, you think he's got a thing for me? You think this little bitch has a thing for me? I'm gonna nettle drone. Okay, good. All right. All right. I saw that two open blue, and I was like, hmm, maybe he's got a stupid little counter spell. But he doesn't. I guess not. Does he have any kind of trick? Or is he going to take six here? You're just going to take six, go to 11, lose two cards? Wow. Okay. All right. I mean, those two twos aren't, like, doing very much for you. I mean, I guess next turn he can flip one, <laughs> and then I could just bring it right back to his hand. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what's what's going to do? He will hit me for four. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured. You, you, you dirtled so hard that I win. That's... That, that... that Get decks that do things, guys. <laughs> guys. Decks that do stuff is good. This girl. This girl. Mm. Man, her body hates me so much. We're going to do one more of these. One more of these little games. My fellow... I was going to call you fellow Americans, but I'm not sure if you're all American. I'm sure that the majority of you are Americans. I'm American, mostly. Puerto Rican American. But that's still American. And really, America is like two massive continents. And if you're born on any either one of those, you're like, you're an American, right? But I guess that's not really what that word always means. It, it's a little more ambiguous than that. I guess less ambiguous than that. It, it kind of all is it's always associated with like the United States of America. Anubis! <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh, I love it! Oh, this is a horrible hand, no. Uh this is also not very good, but I'll keep it. Anubis, cause he's a noob, but he's also Anubis. Hmm. <laughs> Ah, uh, Egyptian mythology. What little kid 
hasn't grown up with with a love of Egyptian mythology, right? Like the pyramids, the 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 gods like Isis, Osiris, all those other the the, the hieroglyphs, you know? Like, come on, for thousands of years, kids have been daydreaming about that shit, and I don't think it's changed. I think we're still doing it. When I have kids, they'll be doing it too. That's sweet. That makes me happy. Hey, check it out. You got a you got a land. You got a land there. And you got a red mana, double red? Cool. What are you going to do with your double red? A first strike, uh, what was it, 2-1? Two, 2-2. Two, two. Two, two. Excuse me, princess. What else does it do? What is this? Delirium. Uh, it has double strike. Whoa. That's actually a really powerful card. Holy crap. That actually genuinely scares me. Uh, neither of my guys uh, can really do anything to him. Um, he definitely plays twin strike. Twin bolt. Twin Bolt? Twin Strike? What, what the hell? First Strike, Twin Bolt. Right. He plays Twin Bolt. Uh, if he doesn't clean my board up right now, uh, I'm going to be very happy. Oh, he does play blue. Well, obviously he plays blue. He's playing Crum Crumbling Vestige. Yeah, I'm not trading with that, bro. I'm not. I'm not. That's a first strike. <laughs> he gets to do the double strikes later. So he already has land in his thing. So he just needs... Yeah, there, there's an instant. So now he just needs two more things... So a creature and an artifact would be fine. I knew he had it. I just fucking knew he had it. A creature and an artifact would be fantastic. I guess I could bump him back if I really wanted to, which I don't really want to. And I have no way to even... I have no way to even um, ingest. Like, I haven't had one since ever in this game. Ugh, another guy who's running these really terrible lands... Yeah, I'm totally letting that through. Totally letting that through. If you have another twin bolt, I'm, I'm smashing, I'm smashing the planet to smithereens. Okay. Also, he probably should have done that on my turn, but I don't know. Maybe he saw the blue and got scared of like a counter spell or something. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what he's thinking. But I'm swinging at him for more than he's swinging at me, so I'm thinking he's got something here. Lightning. Wow. Lightning axe is uh, expensive. Discard a card. So wait, he's, um... Oh, yeah, discard for the Delirium, of course. Oh, yeah, of course. Fiery Temper 2? Holy shit, man. Look at that. Oh, wow. The value. <laughs> uh, but Fiery... All these are still uh, instances, actually. So he doesn't have... De he's not any closer to Delirium, thank God. Because he only... Yeah. Uh, if he had discarded, like, a creature or something... I mean, he wouldn't have gotten the extra... The extra value, but... Whatever, whatever. Okay. Well, dude, you've been keeping pace with me, like, fantastically, so... There you go. There's another land for you. Is it a red or a blue? It's a blue! What's he got for me? Oh, this little asshole. This little prowess bitch. Hmm, neat. And... What can he maybe want to play... That he will play that for sure. Thing in the ice? Are you fucking kidding me? Hell yeah, he's playing that. Hell yeah, he's playing that. I'm not sure what he's doing there. Why is he pausing? I'm not blocking this again. Like I never will, and I never do. I never do, and I never will, sir. Sir. Excuse me, sir. I'm not blocking this. What the fuck is he doing? Come on, let's go. Let's go. Come on, stop fucking around. Let's do it, man. Yeah, you hit me for two. I get you. You got two cards in hand. Can we not? <laughs> Why is he doing this? Why? Why did he just let that go all the way through? No, I'm not blocking. Thank you. Good God, that guy's obnoxious now. Alright. Why are you being... Why are you doing this? I'm genuinely confused why he's not... Why he's doing this. He either has something to play or he doesn't. Like, why? What? What? I can't even talk to him. I can't even ask him. Like, if he has a question, like, why? Does he think he has double strike because there's four cards in his graveyard? Why didn't he play that? What the hell? He just, what? What? What is going on? What happened? Guys, the world has confused me for the last time. And now it's exiled. That actually feeds my processor assault. Holy crap, I can deal five damage to one of his creatures. That's insane to me. 
Um. Hmm. Hmm. I think I'd rather adverse conditions. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add worse conditions. I was... Eh, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Fuck the world. You're both tapping. You're both little bitches today. Whew! That, I definitely read that as Taint the Elephant, and that's the worst card you could draw, you could play. That's just, you are not a mill deck. What the hell is it doing here? That isn't just, it's strictly a mill deck, right? There are, there is spell mass. Wow, what's going on here? Holy crap. Holy crap. Wait, 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 wait. All right, so he's doubling up. All right, he's trying to kill my guys. Okay, fine, fine. Oh, you, you got it. You did it. You killed, you stopped two damage with two incredible cards. Two incredible of my cards, you, you bastard. <laughs> I guess that's why he's playing it, because it worked out this time. Normally, that doesn't work out quite the way you think it might. Alright, three damage. Let's get this Let's get this show on the road, huh? Eh? So what do I want to do? Do I want a Nettle Drone, or do I want to... Hmm. I can crack those guys, or I can Nettle Drone. I think I'd rather throw down the Nettle Drone, just in case I get, like, a bomb next turn or so. If I get a 6-drop, like an Oblivion Sower, or Drowner of Hope, or some something else in that category, I'd rather have those lands open, and it's close enough power level between the two of them. Because, like, those... If I crack the lands, I would only get a 2-2. Two, two. I would only get 2 power on the board. This way, I get 3. Yeah, hit me for 1, bro. Hit me for whatever the hell you want. I don't, I don't give a shit. What is it? Yeah, alright. So, he can hit me for 4 if he really wants to. And I will totally let him hit me for four. Like, I do not give a shit about four damage. Go ahead and do it. Go ahead and do it. Oh, look at that. You tricked me. Oh, no. Wow. I got smashed. I can't believe it. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Oh, no. You got me. <laughs> I just don't give a fuck, dude. <laughs> do not give a fuck. You're taking half your life is gone. That's half your life right there. Don't mind if I do. Kerplunk. Next turn. Uh, I I can't wait forever for these uh, for these bombs, so I'm gonna crack one of these guys next turn. Totes ob. Let's see what my bro up here does. He's got some interesting cards. A lot of things I'm not uh, expecting. Okay, slip through space. It's gonna pound me. It's gonna pound me pretty hard. Is that it? Just five? Just three? Okay. Three is fine. Oh, five. Okay. That, that, he is doing five. Um, <laughs> in that case... You don't have... Let me just make sure he does not have delirium. He does not have delirium. Bounce that shit right now. Get out of here! <laughs> Half my life seems like a scary amount, and he still has four mana open, so I wouldn't put it past him to be able to, like, smash me. Fall of the Titans! Oh, no. That's bad. <laughs> That's so bad. Well, didn't see that coming. Yep. Yep. I got fucked. I got fucked, you guys. At least he can't play uh, that other bitch, because I think it costs three? I think it costs three. Oh, hey, another one of those. Nice. Ugh, let's get in there. Well, I mean, I haven't seen, like, much. And, oh, wait, he has Delirium, doesn't he? Does he have Delirium now? No, he doesn't. Follow the Titans is an instant. Holy crap, it is. He has nothing but instances. Oh, no, he does have a sorcery in here. Uh, screw it. I'm doing it anyway. Screw the world. Confirmed. Yes. Do it. Do it to him. Make it happen. Also, adverse conditions uh, on his turn on the Abbot of Carol Keep, please. Ooh. 
wait a minute. How come he's not casting these things? He can totally cast this. Why? Why? Alright, well, I mean, if he doesn't want to, then he doesn't have to. Um, yeah, screw that, actually. No, if he wants to trade with my 1-1. One, one. Rip of the Royal! Aw, oh, man. You fucked me. You fucked me up big time. You fucked me up. Look at all these control cards you got. Look what you did to me. Look what you did. You're such a dick. Alright. Pass turn. Got nothing to do. Taking two, maybe? No, I'm not, because I'm bouncing it back up. No, I'm not. I'm not doing that. I'm, I'm, I'm cracking this open. Cracking it open. Crack it to you. This is where you twin bolt. Just the wind. Not quite twin bolt. Ooh. You know what? I'm okay with that, too. <laughs> that, oh, wait. No, I'm not, because that's a ton of damage. That's, what, six damage? No, no, no. Five. Five damage. Five damage. I mean, I did eat up two of his cards, which is kind of nice. Crap, though, man. Crap, crap, crap. Ooh, hey, check it out. Now I can uh, I can play them both. So yeah, I don't mind if I do swing in because I'll crack that uh, that foundry and then I will disperse his bro if he thinks he's gonna kill him, which which he might. <laughs> he might. You gonna swing in? You gonna swing in, bro? You gonna do it? Don't do it. Um, oh wait, no, I can't do that. I can't do them both. Alright, fuck it. What are the odds that he can do it again? <laughs> what are the odds? What are the odds? Come on. Come on, what are the odds? Rush of adrenaline. What, what's he getting? What's he getting there? Plus two, plus one, and trample. That's enough to kill me, so I have to disperse. Bye-bye. Get back in your hand. Get back in there. Get back in there. <laughs> oh, man. We are some mages today. I love this game. This is a good one to sign off on. He's got to he's gotta recast this. I don't know what we're doing on the blocking step, obviously. we got to go back on his uh, main step. Yep, damage is done. At least I don't have to see him watch damage effects of non-existent creatures. He's going to recast the abbot. And he's got two more mana left. Not sure what he's going to do with it. Is he actually going to cast this thing? Oh, wait. Is it just fucking him over? Oh, maybe it's just fucking him over. Maybe he's trying to cast these things, but he can't because it's skipping the second main. Oh, no, dude. I'm so sorry. Yeah, that's totally what's going on. Oh, man. He would actually be totally winning right now uh, if it weren't for that garbage right there. Holy shit, man. Oh, that's insane. I'm so sorry, dude. Oh, that's awful. Oh, man. This game is really fucking people over today. Because I'm, I'm winning because of some shit that they, they screwed up in the game. And I'm going to have to tap this, bro. I'm going to have to tap it. I'm going to have to tap it real hard. Tap them both real hard, actually. And that's probably game. That's probably game because I, I don't see a way that you're going to cast this land, this mountain, <laughs> because it's just going to skip your second main. Because the people who designed this game are twats. Yep. <laughs> That's so bad. Oh, man. I'm sorry, dude. Yeah, so not your fault. I'm not even going to even you because I feel like you can kill a creature. <sighs> I'm sorry, man. That that wasn't his fault at all. Guys, uh, uh, good game, man. Seriously. Great deck. I love it. I love his name. I love the way he played. I love the, uh, the things that he did. It was all fantastic. Everything was just fantastic. This guy was hilarious. Oh, man. I feel like I only won because the game screwed up the rules. Okay, well, let's crack some packs open, you guys. Let's see what we're getting here. <laughs> Let us see our lettuce. We get... All right, I'm going to use my mouse because every time I use my controller, it fucks up. Uh, we get this cool guy. Actually, a lot of druids are... Something that's going on in Magic right now... There used to be a ton of creatures that were that were one drops that you could tap for more mana, and Wizards has said that they're going to be walking away from that now. They're not going to be doing any of that, so now we're going to get a lot of uh, 
two drops that tap for a mana. Uh, I guess they feel like the one drops were just a little too powerful, and getting two mana on turn one is, makes your turn two like way too strong. So for whatever reason, we're not getting that. So things like this are, are going to be a little more common, and this one's even set up to a rare. Probably because he has Death Touch. So he's okay late game, really good early game. This is a fantastic card. That's really, really good. Oh, this is the equipment I was talking about before. It transforms when another dude transforms. If I ever make it like a werewolf deck, this is obviously going in there. Uh, equipped creature has Vigilance, Trample, and Haste. Equipped cost one. That's actually not bad. That's not bad at all. Holy crap. Vigilance, Trample, and Haste. Wow, that's really good in like a werewolf deck. Uh, Warp Landscape I is bad. I don't like it. I mean, it's good for turning on Delirium, I guess. But it's probably the worst version of Evolving Wilds I've ever seen. I don't care if it taps for land. It's bad. It's just, it's a poop. Angelic Purge is super cool. I think it works really well with uh, Clues. It's a, it's, it's a pretty much a non-conditional. It's almost an unconditional exile spell. And exile is so much more relevant than uh, just plain old destroy. Tap up to two creatures, and then you investigate. Uh, God, see, cards like this are going to slow down the meta so much, man. That's really obnoxious. And I hate slowing down the meta, man. I want it to go fast. I want, like, boom, 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 you know? I want crazy shit to happen. Power and toughness are equal to the number of lands I control. That's great. Enter the battlefield, search my library for one land, and put in the battlefield, tap and shuffle. And for a six drop, this is a really, really bad primeval titan. He does have reach. He doesn't have trample. Uh, I don't actually really like this card. I do not think he's very strong. Uh, in fact, we already have somebody like this, and it's not as bad. I guess it doesn't have reach. I don't know. I'm not a fan of it. Lightning Axe, we've seen already. It's a very good card. Enter the battlefield, put a 1-1 on the creature. It has Delirium. Uh, if there are four more types, blah, 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 put a counter on target creature at the beginning of each opponent's upkeep. Holy shit. So multiplayer games, this is kind of a whack weasel, man. Uh, a freaking bear. He, so he can just come into the battlefield as a 2-2. And then, later in the game, he's just throwing counters on everybody. So he requires a removal spell. Otherwise, you go nuts. Press for Answer is just a dirtle card. I fucking hate dirtle cards. Look at the top two cards in my library. Put one of them in my hand and the other in the graveyard. This guy has madness for the exact same cost. So this is just a value card. I would not run this unless you, can, you, you have uh, cards in your deck that say discard a card for some ability. If you don't have any way to like discard this card it's like on its own if it didn't have madness this is not that good of a card it does de it does enable delirium so i mean a delirium slash madness deck might be pretty okay yeah actually gosh i don't know this is not a bad card i, I there, it has a home i'm it, it this card has a home it's not it's not that bad the best value for it, though, is either enabling Delirium or when you when you cast it for Madness, because then you're saving another card. Whatever. Uh, inspiring Captain Ash of the Battlefield. Creatures you control get 1-1 one, one until end of turn. This could be a blowout card. This could be totally blowout. I haven't seen that. Like, if you get a, a Humans deck or something, or some deck where you just, like, flood the entire field with a ton of things and then, you know, drop a few of these things down, that's pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, nice pack. Not not the best. I'm not. I mean, not not the worst. Sorry, it is. It's good. Huh. <sighs> yeah, I don't care about this. All right, guys. Uh, that'll do it for me. Uh, probably last one this week. Um, till next week, uh, which will probably, maybe, I don't know, might be uh, MTGO content. If anyone doesn't want that, you can just send me a comment, and then I just won't do it, and I'll do. I'll push it back another week or so. Whatever. I'll see you guys next time, bros.